Hello everyone, it's Mary. Welcome back to the Live Well channel. Today I'm talking about this book. This book is amazing and you don't need to trust me on it. It has over 3 million copies sold. It's incredible. It's called Atomic Habits. You've probably heard about it from a lot of people. Um, I know I've seen quite a few people on YouTube talk about it. But I really wanted to talk about one particular thing. There's, I could probably make 50 videos out of just this book, which I might. But I just want to talk about one thing today. And it's something that I've been struggling with. And when I read it in the book, it just made so much sense. So if you want to know about it too, stick around. <laughs> Okay, so this book is written by James Clear, and you can f do a Google search on him and you will find um, a place to sign up for his newsletter, so he'll send you stuff every Thursday and you'll get some goodness in your inbox. So that's a plug for James Clear. But one of the things I wanted to talk about, which really had me like, oh, this is so me, was the difference between being in motion and taking action. Now, I find myself post-retirement from the military sort of in a place where I have a lot of goals and I have a lot of things that I want to do, but I find myself sometimes stuck. Like, where do I even begin? How, what, how do I even get going, right? And so one of the things I noticed about myself as I'm reading this book is when he talks about being in motion and taking action, I find that I am stuck in motion. Now what this means is, let's say you have a goal for yourself and one of my goals is writing a book. Well, being in motion means that you have your thought patterns are wrapped around it. You know you want to do it. You've said you wanted to do it. You've even researched a couple things on how to write a book, best ways to publish, cheapest ways to go this route or that. And you're looking into the research aspect and you find, I find, that I am not actually writing my book. So I am in motion. I am doing all the things that are probably necessary to get me going, but then I just keep doing that. And I also call this sort of analysis paralysis, where I'm just stuck, kind of stuck in this area where I'm not throttling forward. Being in action means that I've set a schedule not only to write every day or whatever my schedule looks like, but to actually sit down and write. That's taking action. When I read this, it just seems like such a simple thing, but in the grand scheme of things, if we look at why we set a goal and we're not really seeing any uh, forward momentum on that goal, it might be because we're too stuck in motion and we need to get out of that and ready to move forward. A friend of mine who I work with, he said to me one day, Mary, just write, just write the book, just sit down and just start writing. And it was very impactful for me because I think I've been a little jumbled in my mind with all the things that I have going on. What do I want to write about? Where does the, what category or what chapter would that fit in? That's just too, that's too much to worry about. I really needed to just sit down and start typing. And I did. And I can see that the forward momentum of me writing this book, it's actually happening. I'm up to 12,000 words, people. I'm so excited. It was just me getting out of motion and getting into action that I was able to really start seeing results. The whole premise of this book is, it says, atomic habits. It's setting small things in place and watching big impact over time. This has been my mantra for my wellness since the day where I said something has to change. My first atomic habit to make that change in my life was when I woke up one day, this was in the, the very deep, dark times of my depression and anxiety, and I said, I just don't want to live this way anymore. I don't have the answer to how this is going to change, but I know I need to do something differently. And so every day I said, I'm going to pull out my planner, because if you're like me, I have a million planners, and I just <laughs> let them be. I don't do anything with them. I do now. But I pulled out my planner and I pulled out my stickers and if you know anything about this world, you know that you can get tons and tons of different stickers for your planners to make them look pretty. And I said, I'm just going to take this time, 15 minutes in the morning, to look at my schedule and I'm going to take my stickers and I'm going to put my stickers down and I am just going to make it look pretty. It takes 10 to 15 minutes and that's it. It's just going to be a different habit that I do every single day. After about a week, I started to notice not only 
was I more organized because I was comparing my calendar and looking at what my day ahead was and getting mentally prepared for the day. But I found myself in a better mood every time I picked up that planner. Now, part of the reason for that was because every single sticker that I put down into that planner was one of a positive affirmation. They were fun things like, you got this, you're the best, you're amazing, um, nothing can stop you. Just small affirmations that I was using and I was putting into the planner. I had no idea what a profound impact exposing myself to that kind of positivity on a daily basis would do for me. So I continued that habit. That was my first of many small habits that I just built upon one another. This book lays it all out, how to break habits, how to start new ones, how to surround yourself in an environment that supports your habits. I think that's a really important piece as well, and I'll talk about that more in a future video. But that's definitely one of the things that I did to get me started into a new path. Don't overwhelm yourself with huge things. Just start small. And when it comes to being in motion or being in action, remember, it is action if the motion pieces are going to get you into doing what you need to do. So don't skip on those. Make sure that you're only spending the time you need in that arena before you actually put pen to paper, put your foot to the ground, do what you need to do, and get going into actually accomplishing your goals. Nothing huge has to be done overnight. Just take it one small step at a time. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Hopefully that was helpful. I know that was a huge light bulb moment for me and I really wanted to share it with you. So until next time, be well and live well. Bye-bye.